Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. In this short video, we're gonna talk about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So many people have a fatty liver, and it doesn't necessarily, it's not really coming from drinking too much alcohol. There's other reasons for that. The main reason is insulin resistance. And I want to explain that. If you haven't seen the other videos, I'll put some links down below, but this is very important. See, insulin is a hormone that helps regulate blood sugars. A lot of people associate it with diabetes, but insulin is the hormone that if, even in a small amount, it converts food, especially carbohydrates, to cholesterol and fat. And it really loads up that liver with fat. So in the presence of a little too much insulin, you're gonna get a fatted liver. And it may not even show up as a weight problem at first, but it will probably show up in the midsection as far as a fatty gut. In fact, and this is just my opinion, I think um, because I've tested it so many times, I've sent people to the radiologist to get ultrasounds in their liver. If you take someone with a gut, they have a fatty liver. And a lot of times when the liver fills up with fat, it spills over into the gut and you have this roll around the top section or you have this protruded belly, which um, is a whole other thing. But here's what happens. The problem with this fatty liver is that you don't really have any symptoms for a long time. The liver has to be almost completely destroyed, like 90% before it even shows up on a blood test. So you don't even know you have it and it doesn't create any problem until later in life, so you, when you're surprised. So I'm just bringing your awareness up because what's happening at the cellular level is it's turning into cirrhosis, that scar tissue. The liver is becoming like fibrotic and so it's gonna lose function over time. And it might show up in arthritis and joint problems and fatigue, but it might not at first. But the point is that you need just to be aware of this is a serious problem down the road. So you got the cirrhosis, this uh, liver roll, and what's happening is the body is um, releasing insulin. And insulin resistance is when the insulin is no longer being accepted like it should in the liver. So the liver is blocking it, it's resisting it. And so the signal goes back to the pancreas and says, hey, it's being blocked, it's not going in. I can't hear you. So then the pancreas starts producing more insulin because the return messages, the feedback is not connecting. So it's kind of like talking to your, your child, telling them to take out the garbage, they're not listening. You're gonna increase the volume, start shouting at them. And so that's what's happening right here. So we have this five to seven times more insulin pumped out by the pancreas than normal people. And what's gonna happen is that's, it's gonna create a huge problem with the liver. It's gonna start getting fattier and fattier and fattier. Um, I remember there was in my patient, this one guy came in, he had, um, 95% of his liver was completely filled with fat. And I remember his, looking at his abdomen, it was all distended and sticking out, and he was doing ice cream every single night. So I know you're not doing that. You probably know people who do that, but if you've been watching my videos, your diet's probably absolutely perfect right now. But here's some solutions to correct this. First of all, you have to know the liver is the one of the only organs that can take a real big beating and regenerate 100%. Liver tissue can come back. That's the good news. The bad news is it takes a bit of time. It could take up to three years of eating healthy to restore your liver. You can't just do it for two weeks. Now, one of the best remedies that dissolves fat is choline, and you can buy this from the health store, choline. And it's considered a type of B vitamin, but it's really uh, lipotrophic, which helps dissolve fat in the liver. And probably whatever it's recommending, I would triple the dosage. Start taking that on a regular basis. But again, I don't, want, I don't want you to get the impression that it's just taking a pill to fix your liver. You have to fix your whole lifestyle. You have to fix your eating. You have to take a whole body approach because it's not gonna work just to take a pill and not change your ways. Cruciferous vegetables are the other thing that you need to start consuming because that will also help fat off the liver. If you, don't, if you want something to enhance it, you can do something like this. This is the organic cruciferous concentrate, and you take this. You would probably take nine to 12 of these a day if you have a fatty liver to help support the liver to help clean it up. So that's another thing you can do to enhance your diet, but you, but you cannot fix this without actually eating tremendous amounts of vegetables. If you don't like vegetables, you're gonna have to start eating them somehow, maybe in a shake or something, but 
it's almost impossible to fix this condition if you don't consume vegetables. These other things are just enhancements. They're not the cure. And then the other thing is you don't want to consume any sugar because the sugar activates the insulin. Okay, so we want to avoid the sugar, the hidden sugars, add more vegetables. Choline is a really good one. Cruciferous is another one. Um, and again, it's, it's a little, it's not as, easy is doing these. There's other complications. You have individual specific problems. If you really are serious about getting healthy, you maybe want to consider signing up for my membership site. And in that site, you have me to guide you. It is do it yourself, but you can always ask me a personal question. It's probably the most cost effective way to get help because I have over 200 lessons that you would learn from. And I put a link down below so you can check it out. And you got a month to test it out to see if you like it or you can get a refund. But it's, it's a great program because you get all the details of what to eat, what not to eat, what to do as far as techniques, remedies, things like that. And then you can ask questions and you have me as your guide. But this is a really good thing to, to take the holistic approach and to give you the knowledge so you, you're not at the effect of these conditions just because you don't have some, you're missing some information. So I like to give you the whole scoop help you understand it. So go ahead and apply some of these uh, tips right here. And I hope this uh, educated a little bit. And so your next step is to get started.